Welcome to the Guidance for Light and Sound Meditation video series with Mark from PureEnergyMeditation.com. This is video number 38 of 45. Okay, so let's explore a little bit more about where light and sound energy comes from and how we become aware of it. So light and sound energy really is the flow of love from the source. It manifests into the form of light energy and sound vibration and it flows through all the different spiritual dimensions and down to where we are. But we can't perceive it unless we can take our consciousness beyond our crown chakra. And opening the crown chakra to allow our awareness to go beyond is a process of initiation. Because we're physically bound, then the initiation process has to happen on every single level, including the physical level. And so the person doing the initiation will place their hands on the head of the person receiving the energy. The person who's doing the initiation has to be enlightened in order to do so, which means that their consciousness is on every single level from the source all the way down to the physical level. And in that way, they can act as a conduit, allowing the light to make the connection all the way down to the person receiving it. But the person doing the initiation isn't the source of the light or the sound. They're simply the connection. They're acting as a, a neutral channel. And in order to do so, like I said, they have to be enlightened. And they also have to be able to be completely neutral and just, in effect, get out of the way and allow the process to happen. On a higher level, within these spiritual realms, there is divine intelligence, which is that coalescence of love into form, which forms the different spiritual beings. And some of these beings work to coordinate the process of initiation. So whereas the person giving the energy is acting as the, the conduit, it is the beings of light on the higher level which actually allow and enable the process of the connection to happen. And once you're connected to light and sound energy, which is a perfectly natural and beautiful experience, then providing you meditate regularly, making that connection and strengthening that connection, then the connection is permanent. Now, when we talk about light and sound, it's normal that people can get confused between the light and the sound that they're already experiencing on the inside and the light and sound that I'm referring to as this higher form of meditation. Because as I've said before, Light and sound energy does exist on every single level of consciousness. It exists right down here in the physical world, which is how you can hear me and how you can see me because of the light and the sound that's being expressed physically. So an easy analogy to help us understand this is that the crown chakra, which is the point above which we experience spiritual light and sound and below which we experience the various forms of light and sound energy on all the levels from the intuitive, the mental, the emotional, the etheric and physical. The crown chakra can be thought of a bit like a prism. So if you shine white light through a glass prism, the prism will allow the light to separate into its different frequencies, its different vibrations. So you get red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And what we experience within our energy systems, our aura, our chakras, our mind, emotions, body, and the different spaces and stillnesses that we can sit in within normal everyday meditation. What we experience there is spiritual light divided into all its different frequencies. So it's slowed down so that we can experience it. Once we have access to spiritual light beyond our crown, we can access the light and the sound as pure light and pure sound, as pure energy. And in this way, the experience is going to be very different. Where, and whereas down here, we're using the vehicles we already have as a point of reference to notice various forms of light and sound vibration down here, on a high level, we're not using our chakra system or our emotions, our mind body or our physical body or anything like that. We're not using our aura up there to be aware of light and sound. So it is a very different experience. It's amazing, but importantly, it's also one that we can actually have. So the process of initiation is real. I've already initiated many people and I'm not the only one. There are many teachers around the planet who can do initiation. And as I've said, it involves a physical touch. Because there's light and there's sound, there's actually two parts to the initiation. First is revealed light and secondly is revealed sound. And because of the 
nature of what it is. You can't be initiated when you're asleep. You can't be initiated remotely. It can't be done psychically and it can't be done by a, a teacher who's passed over, who's no longer with us. The person doing the initiation has to make the physical contact. So it has to be done person to person. And from that perspective, then, if you're looking into getting light and sound initiation, having this information will help you discriminate between some teachers who talk about light and sound but aren't able to do initiation into the higher light and sound. Because even within the lower realms, there are teachers who can help you to understand and explore light and sound on the astral or light and sound on the mental. And so some of the traditions out there, when they talk about light and sound, the words are the same, but what they're referring to is, say, for example, giving you more awareness of astral light or more awareness of intuitive light. But if, as you now know, there's also the potential to notice and become aware of light beyond your crown chakra. And it's a very definite difference. So you should, after being initiated, be able to perceive things in a very different way. So hopefully this information will help you in your own journey and to help you also realize that the potential is real and the potential is amazing and so i hope you're motivated to find out for yourself because the bottom line is spiritual journey is your journey and what has value is what you know from your own experience so i wish you all the best and we'll talk more about who can give the initiation how you get the initiation and what you know you need to do in order to prepare in another video and i'll see you in the next video so thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope you found it enjoyable, but also useful. If you've not already done so, then check out the first video that I did and then all the subsequent videos, because watching them in the order that they're presented, you'll get the most benefit from them. As with all the other things I do, including the teaching, MP3 downloads, articles and the ebook, everything I do, I do for free. And I put it out there simply to help people just like you to get the most from their meditation. So please do feel free to share this video with others. And if you've not already had a look, then head on over to my website where you'll find lots of downloads, useful articles, and even a free ebook. And most importantly, enjoy meditating and putting into practice these different techniques and things that we're learning. Thank you again for taking the time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.